fasten your seat belts, it's going to be an icy landing. But not, it seems, icy enough. The $46 million runway at KC Station in Antarctica needs to be frozen to at least minus 5 degrees. But global warming has taken temperatures up and made the landing strip melt. The runway was only built four years ago, but already its flight schedule has been decimated. In the 2009-10 season, 20 flights were planned, but only 14 landed. A year later, 20 more flights were planned, but only two managed to touch down. Last year, the landing program was slashed to just four flights, all of which landed. Over the last two seasons, uh, it has been uh, warmer uh, than we would like. What we're doing is investigations about the feasibility and environmental impact of a gravel runway. And um, we're doing investigations at Davis Station this year. With the runway unreliable, they're having to turn to ships. But Australia's main vessel is currently stuck in the ice. So they're calling on Chinese icebreakers to help supply those living in Antarctica. What we hope is that this is the first of many visits by the Chinese Antarctic program through the Tasmanian Gateway to Antarctica. Scientists say temperatures in the Antarctic have gone up by 2 degrees Celsius in the past 50 years, which has roughly tripled the global temperature rise. For the airport at the bottom of the world, delays for passengers may need to be measured not in hours or days, but seasons. Duncan Kennedy.